Hello and welcome back to Spyro the Dragon with your three lords in the demand. I forgot this was a function now. So if you ever get fleas, you can just roll them off. Roll them off. Now last time we figured out that we need a total of 500 gems to learn how to swim underwater and this level is already one that would benefit from that ability. So we're gonna get to the finish line of this level. We have at least 100 gems, then we're gonna go and... The idols we were carving have come to life! They've locked us out of our temples and stolen our food! The workers can break the locks if they can get to the doors. That's handy. Hey, 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 M mind if I jump on your head real quick? Mm, nope. Am I supposed to land on the idol in the middle, or...? Because you don't seem to work for that. That's fine. Thank you for your quality locksmithing. Who are you and, you and how did you get in here? I'm a locksmith and I'm a locksmith. The most classic of jokes. But it used to be classic. Not when it was first, first born. But it is an amazing one, nonetheless. You doing how? <laughs> you doing how? That's that's how grammar works, right? I did intend to ask how you doing. I like that there's like a lot of different designs for these totems. But all of them have marshmallows. So you think they would not be quite as afraid of fire. But they aren't afraid of fire in particular, now are they? No, it's just the fact that my fire is hot. Those metal shields are making enemies invulnerable to your flame attack. If you press and hold the charge button, you can defeat them with your charge attack. Thank you. Did you just throw me a gem? Or was that just Sparks's throw thing? I was so sure I was about to hit that. On the first try. And then I apparently missed and got smacked with a marshmallow. Which is sort of embarrassing really, isn't it? I don't know. I guess now I know that dragons are both big to bananas and marshmallows. Yeah, grab that, that's gonna fill the sparks right up. And we want sparks to be happy. Thank you for the gems. Oh, I like that tree. I'm not entirely sure what those discs are for. After right, use the right stick. Thanks for the advice. I guess if I would be not playing this with controller and trying this with uh, mouse and keyboard, it would be telling me how to do this with a. other thing instead. Mouse and keyboard, that's the other thing. Alright, and you're gonna break that. Oh, it looks like we need to go through here if I want to achieve anything else with that particular idea. Spyro, you're pretty tough. If you ever want a permanent job, we've got a place for you here. But for the moment, I want you to have this talisman. Thanks. They're pretty trusting when it comes to this stuff, aren't they? Just like this random dragon just shows up and... And they're just giving their stuff away. They're valuable magical artifacts.
that have been with them for centuries. I don't know if they had them for centuries or not, but you know. For all I know, they made that talisman in the morning. Since we're expecting to get this done by lunchtime. Anyway. I'll be honest with you, I'm recording this at, in the evening, so... If, if I were to record the whole game in a row, I would probably be done by lunch. So I think Spyro is not entirely wrong, but I'm not gonna play this in one sitting. I don't think. Because that's a lot of video games. It's a lot of video game I know I love, but it's still a lot of video game. Like the fuse. Was that something on the water? No, there was something on the rock over there. Cool. Been down there. And now, comes the challenge. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, not quite. I'm not sure if this is the idol I should be landing on. I am quite sure I want that uh, those gems though, so... Let's try and glide around. Don't smash yourself on the head, that that can leave permanent damage, you know. I mean, me smashing with them with my horns is probably not a lot better in that regard, but I'm not going for the brain. There's an Estonian uh, saying for someone who is a bit of a doofus, a bit of a dum dum, which is uh, Bubia, and that literally translates to Woodhead. So I feel like this is the sort of dumbasses we're currently working with, the sort of doofuses we're currently working with, anyway. Or at least that we're currently spectating. Well, have we seen any orbs around? We have not, and we have not been directed in the direction of any of the orbs yet. Though I do know one is revealed via that challenge over there. And I guess one might be down there, because that's something we haven't paid any attention to yet. Which I probably should pay attention to. But we get that after we got the gems from over there. Is there anywhere higher I can get from here? Does not look like it. Okay. I'm not gonna be able to reach the title with this, but I am gonna get these. And we certainly have enough gems to go and get into the water now. So let's go get under swimming. Under what? Under water swimming. Under swimming. Yeah. Let's go get under swimming. And if I'm swimming, we can also get Spyro to swim. So, in fairness, it's pretty much winter, so I probably don't want to go swimming. But you know. It's not bound to be a lot more golden than my shower is right now because it has not have hot water. Yay! Let's return home. Uh, let's pay money back some money. I forgot every level had this sort of video in this. That's good. And a lot more of fading into black than the first one. But I didn't quite remember this much. 
Spending it to black. Sheeple! Wake up, sheeple! No. Wrist pop, sheeple. Hello there, Spyro. Would you like to learn to swim underwater? I suppose I could teach you for <clears throat> a small fee. Yes, Great. please. Okay. When you jump in the water, you can use your left stick to move around the surface. Use the charge button to dive underwater. When you're underwater, use the jump button to paddle and charge button to charge. I was so confused for a moment about uh, it being X because X is jump. But I don't remember. No, I, I do technically have a controller mapped for uh, as an Xbox controller. So yeah, yeah. Let me get you sweet gems hiding in these bottles. Okay, is there more? Yeah, there's more. It's been sufficiently long since I last played Spyro 2 that... I don't really remember everything. That's fine. Ooh. Yes, please. Okay, and now we can dive into here as well. But I'm pretty sure this is meant to take me... to lead me onwards. Like, that door over there? That's gonna wait until we've done dealt with Colossus and... the other stuff. For example, I saw something was underwater here, so we're going back. Because I have knowledge. And I'm not the only one cursed with knowledge. Oh, and it wants to repeat this video for me. But we already watched that once. And that's... that's... Yeah, but... Yeah, we, we've had this conversation. It's fine. Ooh. Where does this take me? You have a secret for me? I've been locked in here with all our tools, and the giant idle heads won't let the workers in unless we can solve the three puzzles they've given us. The first puzzle is to turn all these blocks yellow. If you have trouble, come back and talk to me. It's a bit, bit strange to have like a difficulty rating on these, like visibly. Wow, Spyro, you did it! Uh, I mean, uh, I knew you could do it. Now, meet me at the pond for the next challenge. Which pond? Also, not open this chest. Well, alright. I'll meet him at the James Pond. And. Well, at least at the 007. And then we can proceed on. To. Unlock that secret further. Because orbs are collectibles, and collectibles are what I need. Oh my god, those fish look so happy! They look like the game was just made for them. So I'm gonna guess that their name is Bob. That they're all named Bob. The Unibob. Okay. Talk to me. This idol says he's hungry and won't be satisfied until he's swallowed ten fish. He's got a sensitive stomach, so watch what kind of fish you feed him. Okay, you want blues and you want the uh, yellows. I can work with that. And you get them even uh, slightly cooked. Oh, 
Well, how is that not a hit? Got the tail wagging for calibration, that's great. That was a big boy. Eat your fish. No redis for you. Just blues and yellows. But they all might be okay, Spyro, as happy. One more puzzle to go. I'll meet you over by the colored stones for your final challenge. Okay, Spyro. Okay, that you're just repeating that information to me again. Alright, cool, 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 cool. Ha! Can't hide from me. Right in the head. Oh. I'm still worried if about the idol I have to jump on. Is it gonna be the one that I just fed fish to? Is it a different item? So I'm not gonna be able to land on that particular item. Like, the item is here, not an option. And the guy in the center of that uh, one place has an umbrella, so probably can stop me from landing on him. You're an idol. Might if I land on you? Nope, not an option. If you jump on these stones in the correct order, you will solve the puzzle. I only know what the first one is. It's up to you to figure the rest out. Okay. The first one was dark. Square? Nope. Let's start off. Is this gonna be after the color then? No. Nope. Let's start off. Uh, well, this one is also a star. Is that? Is that it? But I've got two stars right now. Do I now get the circle? No. Let's stop. It's two stars. Oh, and then this shape is shared with that. This color is shared with that. This is also a moon. And this is also a triangle. Gotcha. Nice job, Spyro. You're pretty smart for a dragon. Uh, all I have to give you is this shiny thing I found in our toolbox. But it is shiny. And Spyro looks pretty happy with it. I like that. Spyro deserves to be happy. I don't remember how Spyro's attempt at romancing uh, the thorn went. I can't remember her name. It was something with E. I think. I keep forgetting I have that option now. You know, the option to hover. 
to pull myself out of situations like this particular one. Which is probably why I was so casual with charge jumping before, because I knew I could just hover. But I could not in that situation. Yo! Fabulous to see you, Spyro. Now that the supercharged power-up is active, you can charge through the pedestals and send the dancing hula girls over here to help me. Oh. I think I'm gonna miss one. Yep. I missed two. Girls ring dance blew up that idol like a Roman candle. Now I can pursue that dancing career I've dreamed of. Take this orb. It could help you go places. Would it Would it help me go places? I don't feel like that's a kind of thing. Oh right, 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 right. We spent some of our gems from here before. I was wondering like this this one game shows me my gem total instead of the gems I have from a specific map. Can I land on this side? Maybe from a different angle. Stop knocking yourself over the head! You're making me a concern! A heckin' big concern! I feel like that could have been... Would have been just a matter of jumping. I feel like this is, this is the idol I'm supposed to get on. If this item does not count for the skill point, I will be disappointed. Okay, that did work. Ah. Spyro, you're pretty. We've already. But. We already collected the status, man. I know. I wasn't intending to collect it again. I was trying to get run past the guy. That didn't even hover. That just cancelled my flight. So clearly, I now have new world controls to get used to. <laughs> Why? Why did not hover? I was promised hover. Hover! Hover! That wasn't Hover either. Once again it just cancelled my flight instead of hovering. How long do I have to fly before I can hover? Or is the game just not registering some of my charge uh, glides as glides enough to let me hover on? I was technically gliding. Okay, I'm gonna give it one more chance and if that fails then I'm just gonna assume that this is not it. That this is not the solution I'm looking for. Okay, one more try because I could see that I can hover this time. 
And honestly, no. I'm gonna keep trying until the end of this episode. And then I'm gonna leave by the portal and head back to summer, much of a custom, summer forest. And then after that we can land and head over to autumn, whatever it was. Well, actually, it's gonna be quite a few levels between here and there. Ah! How rude! I was doing perfectly well there. Alright. Okay, that looks like an invisible wall. So it's not that idol I'm supposed to land on. I will figure out later. Figure it out later. To be specific, I think I just figure out later and before. That's not really a verb, but you might get what I mean. What I mean? Yeah. That's right. Alright then, well, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time when we will go ahead and uh, visit Colossus. But in fairness, we could travel there already. It's entirely available to us. I could just uh, glide here and get in the door. What was the challenge for this place? I certainly do not remember. But I am eager to find out. Animal sacrifice failed. Oh well. Uh, next time we will come back here and we will try to get a perfect in hockey. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you then. Bye bye.